Hey, uh, YTPC. This pipe here coming at you from a nice, uh, nice ish Monday afternoon in South Carolina. I say nice ish because it's too cold to take this thing off yet. Hey, yeah, too cold to take this thing off yet. It's warm enough to, it's starting to annoy me. So I'm, a, I'm in that little halfway mark of uncomfortableness. But anyway, I'm going to do a video today on just a little ramble, what's going on. And I'm going to do a little VR to uh, Mr. Michael from uh, Whiteford Handmade Pipes. So anyway, uh, hand, uh, hand. housekeeping, a little Briarworth Dublin. Got some uh, old gallery in there, Rack Trace Old Gallery. Looks so good. And I'm drinking me some... Uh, Black Rifle Company's, uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company's AK-47 blend, which is my favorite right now. I mean, only had two blends, but the AK-47 is awesome. It's like an espresso type flavor, and it's, it's, it's awesome. Unfortunately, I got a mail order, and I ordered this thing. It came in on Friday, and I've already drank through all but 12, or all but two pods from my Keurig, so I'm going to make another order here soon. <laughs> anyway, what, what am I up to today? Um... I decided to mess with my little estate pipe. I got the saying about a month, month and a half ago while I was antiquing. I got the video up there. And it is a flashlight. Don't know. Well, here's one. This thing's full, though. Highlander. We can see that. I doubt it. Huh. There you go. Never heard of it, did some Google with a Highlander pipe and anything like that. No results, can't figure out what it is. And uh, uh, Mr. Metalhead Cigar Guy made, made a suggestion that maybe it's like a, a company made it for a brick and mortar or something like that. Like there was a, that was like the brick and mortar's line somewhere. Um, I had no idea, the antique guy had no idea. I got like, I paid six bucks for it. But, me having no skill whatsoever decided, hey, let's uh let's purchase this thing and fix it up. My hair's horrible. There you go. Um uh, I nerd out on like the state pipe restorations and pipe building and stuff like that. But anyway, like I said, I have no skills whatsoever. I don't own many tools. But I'm that kind of guy is like I mean I may not be able to do something, but I'll watch the crap out of it. Like I don't hunt, I don't fish, but I love watching hunting fish videos. I don't know why. But anyway, this little, this thing was uh, this color right here, this uh, brownish color. I've been sanding it down, ish. And the top, the rim was destroyed. It was dented up, destroyed, um, it's very nasty. Look, actually, see a couple more dents still in there. But uh, put the Dremel to it, smoothed it out, got it down. I took a quarter, about almost a quarter inch off and then Leveled it out the best I could. I mean, do, do, do a couple more passes on the sandpaper. The inside, good. The inside was disgusting. I mean, it's still not perfect, but it was nasty. And I thought the inside of the bowl was destroyed, but took my dremel to it. Got down, yeah, I got down the briar. Oh well. I was gonna dremel to it, man. It's actually not in bad condition. You got some chips and dings in there, but. And my flashlight's going out, of course. But through watching a state pipe videos, I got my pipe mud ready, cigar ashes. The stem was not horrible, but I had to do, a, had to do two days of um, OxyClean soap. And it got it pretty nice and clean. I got the oxidation out pretty much. I saw, I know that's a horrible light in this garage. But through my sanding and fi yeah, filing, whoops, I made some grooves and gouges in here. So right now I'm going back and fine tuning them. Like right there at the button area, you won't be able to see it, but I got, uh, uh, what's this? Yeah, horizontal. You can see horizontal uh, sand marks and vertical sand marks right here. So I'm, try I'm trying to. Uh, 
picks that up. They got perpendicular standing marks right here. Um, other side's not bad. Uh, inside's pretty much cleaned out. I did a little, uh, whole lot of uh, pipe cleaning to this thing. So I think inside the thing's pretty nice. Haven't touched the inside of this yet, so I'm working on the outside first. Um, plans with it, I'm probably just gonna build it up for myself. And I gotta fix that too, holy crap. Got ideas. But I uh, probably fix it myself, mess it up, uh, rusticate it myself, make a little uh, a zombie pipe essentially. Just see what happens. Uh, I might take it to, uh, I might take it to the, the Raleigh uh, Pipe Show just to show it, not show it off, but you know, hey, go to some Morrison guy and go, hey, what do you think about this? I did, um, I worked on it. What do you think? Any tips, any tricks? Uh, also, uh, probably on Instagram, I'll probably do some before, middle, and after. Right now, I'm in the middle section, so I might post some Instagram pictures of what's going on. I have the old pictures up. So, um, yeah, that's really about it. That's all I got going on. Like I said before, I mentioned a while back, you know, pipe smoking has made me want to do stuff. I'm a, I'm a fidgety guy anyway. I can't sit down at one spot for long, too long. But piping, pipe smoking has made me fidgety, but not getting up and walking. It's made me want to read some more. It's made me want to do stuff with my hands. So that's why I'm picking up this little state pipe project. Especially me being home right now by myself, kids and kids at school, wife at work. So that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, my goal is buy Raleigh Pipe Show, which is the first weekend in April, second weekend in April. I'm gonna have it uh, fixed up. Maybe not smokable, but close enough. I'll try to get some. Try and get some uh, tips and tricks from the people who know what they're doing. Anyway, now on to the VR for Mr. Michael from uh, White for Handmade Pipes. Just happens to be a arson pipe maker, and he's doing. Uh, this happened to tie in nicely with what my idea was, with my uh, regular, my ramble. So he is doing a hundred sub golf. First off, sir, congratulations. Um, watch his videos. Like I said, I nerd out on estate pipe restorations and pipe building. He's got some awesome pipe video, um, pipe building videos and some awesome looking pipes. But he has uh, five questions asked. Uh, favorite pipe shape and why? I love the Dublin shape. Uh, for me, besides besides uh, besides um, like a Calabash, Sherlock Holmes looking pipe. When I think of a pipe, I think of a Dublin. I always had, always this this screamed to me. I like a Dublin. Least favorite pipe shape and why? There's nothing against people who like it. It's just I do not like the blowfish look to it i just it doesn't scream to me i mean i know there's like different variations of them but it just then hey I, I don't not that i don't like it it's probably my least it's probably the one i'll be least purchased myself but who knows next week could change favorite factory pipe manufacturer uh peterson because my favorite pipe is my dracula and that's where it comes from and i want to go purchase more Pearson Dracula, different shapes, different sizes. Favorite Arsham pipe maker? This is tough. But I don't own any. You know, unfortunately, when I, when I think of, you know, Arsham pipe maker, I think of like $1,000 pipes, you know, out of my price range. But then also think about, you know, guys I see on Instagram and stuff like that. So, and I'm only cheap. I have a couple. Um, uh, Oma Miss pipes. You know, the people, the people I talk to the most, if you don't like OMS pipes, you might as well get out of the group. But he makes, um, he makes arson, he makes arson pipes that are affordable, that I can attain, them to me at least. Uh, Joe Case is the same way. He, there's some out of my price range, but he does make some for people that, I, for me, I can handle. That's the way I look at it. Uh, also, it's, it's going on Instagram. There's numerous arson pipe makers out there. There's regular old Joes in their backyard or their shed doing it part-time who make awesome pipes. And 
and make it affordable. Like uh, like Dragonbriar, I like his stuff. And Garage Made, pretty good stuff. Okay, so I had five. Excuse me. If I could own any pipe, what would it be? Well, this went down to my, uh, um, you know, what, 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 if I had, if I had the money, what would I buy? Jay Allen pipe. I like Jay Allen pipes. Um, they are very, very pricey. If I saw one on there, it was a Dublin on smokypipes.com. It was a Dublin with a bamboo shank and a straight, kind of looked like this, a little bigger with a bamboo shank, and it, I'm like, that's pretty. So that's it. A Dublin shape, a Dublin shaped bamboo shank straight pipe from J. Allen is my. It would be my arson pipe. If if maybe an arson pipe, I could afford one. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. You got any questions, comments, concern? You know how to help me with my state pipe? Go ahead and knock it on down there. Uh, what else has there? Um, Instagram, Perky Leg Zero One. Diz pipe. Uh, shout out um, Unicorn Piper. I enjoy his stuff. He's been doing a raffle for uh, one of the YTPCers who got injured overseas. It's closed now, but he did a darn, darn good job and good cause for what he's doing. And thanks everybody else for donating. Um, who else is it? Yeah, Pipe Miner. Go, go find Pipe Miner. He's a old oh Chris. He's a miner in uh, Nebraska, something like that. He's got some darn good videos. Go, go check him out. Yeah, that's all I got about it. So, y'all have a good one.